everyone so today i would like to share with you about creating a badge a badge it's like a recognition given from the teacher to the students okay in in managing the badge actually is different from the certificate because the certificate needs a more complicated competency and assessments that are fully evaluate the holistic nature of the students whereby the badges actually here available under the tab of participant is just a recognition for a certain things that already being achieved by the students so today i would like to share with you how to create a badge let us dive datang ke channel saya kerja datang online please don't forget to subscribe like and share all our videos we provide a very comprehensive online courses free of charge nonton semua video kami sehingga akhir Pembelajaran secara percuma. Okay, so to create a badge, the first steps that you need to go is actually you go to the badge here and then you click add new badge. So you can create any badge. In this case, example, I'm going to put as activist. Okay, activist is just name. Okay, it's nothing to do with the politics and so on. It's just activist. Okay, the, the, the badge will be given to any students. Any students who are actively involved in LMS because I want to promote this LMS, right? So I can know um, the most frequent students by looking into their log, for example. Then I will understand the behavior of the students and how frequent they use this LMS as their main uh, platform in a teaching and learning process. Therefore, the next one I need to choose a picture is a mask okay then i will um having this picture for example i'm going to choose my own picture <coughs> just for example if you want to edit the picture in the canva application so on so please be my guest and then you can put some details about the issuer and then you can also put some expiry date if you need it okay because this is just an example i'm just going to make some sort of uh, expiry date by the end of uh, tomorrow just to give an example only and after that i hit the create batch so after create a batch then the criteria will be given here so um, i'm going to manually issue it so you also can uh, use different complicated nature uh, in terms of issuing those things by um, competency base and so on but in this case i'm just going to uh, give in a manual manner that's mean if i look into the um, details of the student who are most frequent uh, students using the lms in my subject then i will rank them uh, ascendingly then i will give these uh, badges uh, to them so any of the selected roles award of the badges okay so i'm going to choose this option and then hit the save button and the badge is currently ready to be used but now it's not enable yet therefore we need to click enable access after you click the enable access then they give you some confirmation detail over here and then you can click continue uh, to make it more accessible so now the batch is ready the batch is ready for this class the batch is ready for all the participants and all the participants are ready to be marked and giving this particular um, badges okay uh, let's say I would like to know about my students' performance in terms of the most actively involved in the class. Therefore, I can click this button and go to the More button. Under the More menu, we can have here as a report. Therefore, I can go to the Logs and find the report related to the actively involved, uh, which students that are actively involved. Then I can get this log and download all the logs required over here in the down here we got the uh, download option as a csv file and then we can understand uh, the name of the students that are most frequent user then i will uh, note those kind of student for example in this uh, uh, in this subject i only got one student because it's just a dummy one just to give you an example therefore i would like to give this student a badge so how to give the badge to the student you can just go to the badges here and then you can go to the manage badges after you click the manage badges then you can have this trophy icon so the trophy icon is very useful for you to award which students that you are looking for so in this criteria i'm going to look for the students and then i can award the badges okay just insert these people around here on the right uh, box into the left box and automatically this student is already being given the badge Okay, 
So the badge is already being issued to uh, to the participants. So let us dive in after this um, about the students' uh, view uh, of their badges. Okay, let me see the student's profile after being given the badge. So this blog is being created badges from environmental health online learning which is activist so if the teacher click this activist they can see what kind of the descriptions details about these particular badges okay let us go into the student's account so that we can understand how the student feel how the student um, behave after got this kind of badges right so we are going to log in into the student's dummy account just for example only therefore you got the notification over here the student firstly we get the alert congratulations you just earn a badge wow if i if i um a student therefore i would like feel very grateful to get this kind of um, award then the students can view the notifications over here and then they can go to the activist or they can just uh, click over here and then they can see the details okay uh, this is the batch given by the lecturer to the students and then uh, also the students can um, view their performance in terms of the profile over here they can also get the batch so that therefore they know already oh okay this is the batch collector that's mean a lot badges means that the students are very good right that is the theoretically speaking so up to you you want to uh, make it uh, automatically assign or you want to uh, give those badges manually one by one it's all up to the teachers uh, set up and so on so i hope that this video is very helpful to you especially giving you some ideas about uh, creating the badges and if you want to delete those badges because it's already expired and so on you can do so by click to the badges menu over here okay we can just go to the badges menu over here and then you can click manage, ba manage badges and then you can just delete it okay this is the example and if you want to see those who are the recipient of this particular award you can just go to the recipient list and they will give you the name and the surname of the students then you can see the different badges let's say you got uh, five different badges from uh, best students clever students hardworking students um, uh, very uh, punctual students and so on so that is a very good idea to motivate your students okay i hope that this video is full please do consider to like share and the most important thing please do subscribe so that you can get the latest information and free available online training for those who are looking for creating online courses see you there bye bye assalamualaikum and